<laughs> my dude what's up guys i got a brand new subscriber build for you and uh, okay well <laughs> i didn't i named it and i really wish it's saeed stafa what's up my dude shout out in the comments come on man that dude the previous dude in the previous build uh video didn't shout out i think he just like you know what fuck you you've ignored me for so long i'm out but um saeed stafa or saeed stafa or it might just be ed and you're like hey say anyway whatever i'm pretty sure it's saeed so anyway he said hey man check out my five color build 20 lands Twanky lands in a five color build what seems impossible seems playable is what I say But I wish you would have named it because I named it and uh, I called it five color ramp Apparently also known as five cramp. All right, so we're getting in there uh, You know, it's it's ramping up and it's drawing cards basically what you don't want to see with decks like these uh, With ramp decks is ramping up to like one bomb in your hand then they counter it or kill it and you're just like shit What do I do? Oh, I lose okay uh, I played mono green for a long time when I got into magic, so I know how that feels, but this kind of gets around it with um, I guess Maelstrom Archangel helps out, I guess, but really it's like ramp up with Dark Steel and Core Cartographer and Cultivate and stuff like that, but then you also have uh, Ruin Expedition here and Thank Twice, and I guess this is another source of card draw. You're wanting to guard, oh, this is too, so you're drawing cards, trying to get those bombs in your hands so you can lay threat after threat after threat. Saeed, shout off in the comments below, uh, 20 lands, that's bold, my dude, I'll check it out, let's see, let's get in there, let's do it. Alright, let's get in there, I've got a couple reservations with this deck so far, but I think this deck is, it's very close, I can definitely give, I think, give, uh, give some good pointers, so, uh. Looks like we're, we're, we're rolling. Uh-oh. We don't have a white source at all. If we draw another land, we can uh, Eeyore Ruin Expedition on time. You know, I think this is worth it. I'm going to keep it. Uh, it's cool enough. Like, you know, the, these two landers are not going to be, like, super uncommon because you're only running 20 lands. I think it's very bold and very smart, I think. I don't know if, like, 20, you know, I, I don't know yet. I mean, mana base is, it's almost like an exact science. Like, it's, you could actually probably, like, do some shit to figure out exactly how many you're supposed to be running. I don't really know how to do that, but um, I have a pretty good idea. Okay, so this is, a, what's another good thing about this deck is, or about this format, really, I get to run cards I don't normally run. I've never ran Dark Steel. I've never ran you our ruin expedition so i think the problem is going to be mana in this deck like five color no no fixing really like not very many guild gates and then <laughs> i think it's really funny that he said the only reason i'm running uh yes like it just seems like infernal titans way better especially like mana curve like you go straight from core cartographer you skip over land drop five right into um land drop six area so it seems like infernal titan would be better for that now cultivate obviously jumps you from three to five um so does dark steel so i don't know it might work out i don't know it's it's cool right it makes you think at least so cultivate get the lands in our hand now what do we need we need a white source for sure and then like just getting five colors is almost like but oh this is one man of any color right so i think i get i have to get definitely planes and then Montagna? Is that what I'm doing right now? I mean, we need double red. I don't... We do need double black, too, at land drop five. Yeah, see, it's just a little, little uncomf. I'm going to go this. I don't... There's probably a correct way to do that, and um, my dude, probably, the dude that built this deck probably knows, but I don't exactly know which one to get. Do you normally get red, or do you normally get black? I'm sure there's, like, some fringe cases where you really need a blue and whatnot for all your card drawing stuff, so... It's interesting. It's a very interesting deck, so I'm really happy to get behind it and play it. Peeking up onto that skirt. What's this son of a bitch? Coral Barrier 3. Barrier? Coral Barrier! 3 mana, or a 3 mana, 1 3 defender. Put a 1 1 squid when it enters battlefield. Wow, I guess I haven't seen that card in a while. Swamp status. Got all five colors. Gorgeous. Okay, so we, uh, we can do this, right? How, what, what can we do right now? This ramps the turn it comes down, right? And it's indestructible. Yes. Do I draw cards now? Thank you. Dude, I love I love this deck. I love this deck. And even if it's not like perfect as it sits, we can do this. This is a multiple subscriber build um like little format right here. I don't is that what you call it? With this deck. I love it. I love what's going on right now in my hand. I can loan Mish. That way I can block this one one. I don't think that's the thing I should do. I could uh, Wall of O and Dark Steel. We actually have three open mana with that, but that doesn't do anything, does it? So we Wall of O and Dark Steel ingot, and then we pop this son of a bitch, and I get two. Draw two cards, digging it. 
it's a slow uh, or fast, depending on the mana ramp and whatnot. But it's a you know it's a it's a kind of bad Inspiration Nation. I wish I could run Eor Rune Expedition Inspiration Nation. Well, you only net you net the same amount of cards, don't you? It just takes longer. Technically takes longer. I mean, it doesn't have to, especially with this ramp. What? Never thought this was really a bad card. I just thought the other no recursion is there. There's no recursion. Lone Mish. I think probably the lands are more important. This looks like a late game deck, so I'm thinking it's Lone Mishes later. And we've got the card advantage. We're about oh no, I should have popped first. Damn it! I hate playing with decks I'm not comf with yet. Comf. I don't do this in real life, man. I don't say that shit. I don't know why I do it on camera. I don't know, probably because I'm so talkative. Oh my fuego. Oh my fuego. Holy shit. How about Trace Leches? The bombs. The bombs of the format. We can cast this right now. Do we do this? It doesn't get countered. It dies like seven ways a Sunday, but we get mad value if it doesn't. Get your skinny ass in there, you 5-5 five, five flying sexy son of a bitch. You're all, you're all armored up and whatnot. Gorgeous. God. Them five color titties are looking fantastic right now. Holy shit. The Crypt Keeper over here. So it seems like he would have removal. Now, it could be land flesh of dust. Seems likely. Mine rot. That's uh, slightly annoying. Indulgent may or may not be better than Bane Slay. Flying first drink. First drink? What? First drink? Damn. Don't invite Bane Slayer drinking up all your shit. Uh, demons and Dragons. How relevant is that against Blue Black? There's some demons. It could be running. They, he's probably running this card, actually. But draw a card unless he pays three life or sacks a creature. He's got some creatures. It's going to be the ramp. That is so weird to say. Bane, Indulgent Tormentor over Baneslayer Angel. And he's got creatures to sack, but Baneslayer doesn't do a whole lot for me. Am I saying that? I don't know. I mean, it was probably a toss-up, and I was just over here fucking around talking about Baneslayer drinking all my alcohol. So, all right. Um, maybe we need to keep that land just in case. Let's see. He casts this, but he can still counter this, right? When I get in. Wait, did he just get in and I just took it? It has Island Walk. I have an Island. Right. We got there. Island Walk. So I cast this for free, but he can still counter it. He can still nullify it. I'd go for it, absolutely, because I'm probably going to get my hand discarded away. Yes! This. Boom. Okay. Hey, man, you can be 18 with some soft hands. I got a 5-5 flyer. Damn it! But we got, we're top decking like card draw, right? That's the good thing about this. You ramp up into creatures, and you that's usually, <laughs> I think, unless you're running against a discard deck, usually you ramp up, lay a creature, and they're like, okay, kill it, counter it. Okay, well, card draw, card draw, card draw. Give my shit back, and then lay some more bombs. Threat after threat after threat. I'll do that to thin my damn deck. Let's do that. Uh, is there any, like, instant speed, kill a creature, discard a card? Bluff with it? I don't really think it matters. Listen, if I am if I can swing in four times with this sexy son of a bitch, I'll do it, you five-color titty-toting son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man, what's this? There's got to be some art in that flavor. There is no world where angels, angels fear to tread. What? Yes? Oh, I can cast this for free? Sure. I thought it was a creature, but it's non-land card from your hand. Sure. Okay, and we do... Uh-oh, we need double red for... <laughs> Some things, and then another black source. I don't really know what we need. Our mana base is pretty solid right now, but another red source, and we have dark steel, so it really doesn't matter. Let's get another black source. How about that? Confirm. Lay it, because he's discarding shit left and right. So he's top decking like flesh dust and whatnot. We're top decking card draw and bombs. Can we afford? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can't afford. Uh oh! I'll take my own runes card and I get... Wow, what the fuck do you get? Planar Cleansing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you get, really. There is one. I know that for a fact. Dude, you might just get... Monstrosity, bitch. The dragon. Just to do it. I don't know. That's something to, to think about once we top deck it. I got a feeling we're top decking right now. Runes card, one out of 40. Planar Cleansing. I can't... Triple white. I can't afford it. I can fake the block. You dare me to fake the block? I bet she doesn't block here. Yeah, I think he does because it would take him down to five, right? Wow. I can't afford the cleanse. Maybe I don't want it, right? 
Destroy. This doesn't die. It'd probably be worth it now. He has a better board state than I do. This bitch has done his job. This bitch has done her job too. I got a... Well, I mean, she tried to do her job. Yeah, what a what a good deck to play against right now. Wow. Little, uh, what's this? 4-3, pay 2 life, gains flying to EOT. Do not forget that because you're going to die to this somehow. Island walk. I'm on a clock. It's not relevant yet, but it could be. You could pump him up, right? Is there a black enchantment? There is a uh, deviant glee. You can't activate the red source unless he drops a red source. Uh, the, the whatever, the trample and the plus O. Plus one, plus O. All right, we're drawing to some pretty cool cards right now. Bam, that's not one of them, but it could be. Boom, at least we have uh, one more white source. We'll be drawing to the third Wall of Omens, the Woo, as I like to call it, apparently. Boom, yeah, thin my deck, get a board state. Oh, I had to tap this because that was the only white source I had. Uh, yeah, the double black probably was not worth it, although we do need it, but we have it, right? With this son of a bitch. So it would have been double white for triple planes. And we're going to pass turn back. If This probably gets discard out of my hand is the unfortunate part. We do have we do have triple white now, though, don't we? So maybe it's worth a swing in. We'll do it next turn. Chasm Skulk. Don't draw any cards. The one card in his hand actually could be like... Because he, he has shown some control, right? So it could be a dissolve. Like, I, I actually bank on this being a dissolve. It's weird that he hasn't swung in with this yet. But he's, he's at 10. But he can pay 2 life. He goes down to 8. And I could be running... Um, Man, dude, there's a lot of tweaking we can do because I think Volcanic Geyser deserves a spot in this deck, right? Like, that be your red? Just round out the red with Infernal Titan and a couple geysers. Seems sick. What? Mmm, that's not what I want to see. Okay, I'm going to... God damn it. We're about to get blown out of the water. Like, he blocks and, like, it doesn't matter. Like, it almost doesn't even matter that I swing in, right? This gets so countered. And, like, what does it even mean? We start over and I'm drawing more live than him, which may or not... What the fuck? Hello? My phone's on silent. How are you talking to me right now? My phone's on silent, but my ringtone... Oh, that was only the media. Thanks, new phone. <laughs> Apparently, you're way different than your previous iterations. Galaxies. Okay, so... I mean, I guess we swing in. This gets countered. If it gets countered, we're fucked anyway. I think... I think I might should not swing in. That way if it gets countered, I still have these. <clears throat> right? Is that, Do you see what I'm saying? Is that a thing I'm doing? Because he's going to block. That is a very weird thing I just did. But you see what I'm saying, right? Like, he had, I had no profitable attacks. He would have blocked. I like that. Anyway, that's what we did. That was weird. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've never thought about that, but maybe I have in a previous life. He, well, The one card in his hand, I think, is a land. I'm going to go ahead and lay this because... Well, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We can't afford... I'm going to lay my bro down, my forest, because if I do ever top deck like a think twice after I top deck a Kozilek, for some reason, I guess I need it. I don't, I don't really want to bluff because he has shown that he has discard. Is there any other good discard in the format besides Mine Rot? Monomania is, but if I have one card to my dude, what's up? Welcome to the party. I actually do this now because I might top deck some Fuego, right? Not a white source, please. Green source seems fine. My mana base is nasty. There's a lone mish. I'll take it. I think I'm gonna think uh think back this. Think back. I always fuck that up. Think twice again. No white sources on this side of the board, please. Ooh, don't need double red. Actually, my mana base is so good, it doesn't matter. All right. We can still do the Hasty Dragon pre-com. Eh, let's just dump our whole hand. I got a threat. Get on it, brother. Just top deck lands. Tribute to hunger. That's what it was. Don't agree with that play, probably. Especially since he's running... Well, no removal just yet, huh? Maybe that's all removal is running. I don't know. Okay, so there's two Tribute to Hungers left. I think you run a play set in the stack. I'm going to go ahead and say it. You run a play set of Mine Rots. He's top decking lands. Fuego! Shit! Not bluffing that. Um, You know, Rune Scar Demon's probably running two. Chasm Skulk probably running two. Coral Barrier, I don't give a shit about at all. So that's good. Shadow Cloak, kind of. So um, we're good. I'm not drawing live, and he's not drawing, drawing live either. He did kill my 2-1, which may or may, it may or may not have been worth it because... I was definitely going to be swinging in with it. Excuse me, Korkotog. 
Do we have any planes left? That's a 2-2. Two -two. That's almost more relevant than the planes. We're out of planes. Yeah. No, we have two left. You know, I don't know his deck. I, that's my excuse, guys. I don't know his deck. But this is pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> fucking staring at each other. Now, what went wrong, really? Like, Mine Rot killed us, right? Because Mine Rot got rid of... Bane Slay and I don't know, like some other scary shit. Then he nullified too. That's the 2 1 with lifelink. I think I just bash in. Although, if I don't bash in, the other tribute to hungers are negated. And if he swings in, I think actually we don't bash in because he would block. Absolutely. 100%. And then the tribute to hungers, I couldn't sack out Core Cartographer, right? So we lay a planes past turn back. And, uh, okay. We're still drawing pretty live, right? Oh, I need to keep those lands, right? For Eeyore Ruin Expedition. If that bites me in the ass, that's a common. I think I run three. Damn it, dude. Oh, God. If I Okay, that's good that he's doing that. Because I can keep swinging in to gate that. He already laid the land, so he's not bluffing anything. I'm not either. Damn, if I top deck a re... Oh, my way go. Okay, so now I can swing in. He has no cards in hand. I've got Palaka Worm, and I've got a backup for Tribute to Hunger if he decides to cast it. Now, he could go Tribute to Hunger. Wouldn't matter. Palaka Worm. Gained some life. Didn't matter. He's never ahead in this game. Okay, so I think now we're dodging Flesh to Dust. I still think this deck runs Flesh to Dust. It has to. Unless it's premium and he doesn't have it. I don't know. Is Flesh to Dust premium? I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't great. Oh, oh no! I didn't have to bother with that. I have first world magic problems. I don't know if the card is premium or not because I bought all the motherfuckers I could. <laughs> all right, so now we just keep bashing. Ooh, no, we don't. We don't keep bashing. No siree. Uh, when we gain life, target opponent loses that much life. That doesn't matter because he only block once. We still don't do this with this guy because it's not lethal. I'm still not bluffing an island. I don't, I don't really think there's a point in this point. There's not a point in this point, okay? Signed, head case. All right, so we're swinging in. We do have lethal over a couple creatures next turn. Really just mainly on this one. <laughs> we're losing it. Because, like, you kind of start, like, drifting, right? Coral barrier, let's see. How many is, is that in the ass? That's three, four, five. So I get two and two. So matter, no matter how he blocks, I get through. He's attacking. So he gains two. That makes sense. Sort of. But that's one in the ass. Would that cost him? I should be able to do this math. Well, he gained six, so I guess that's why he does it. Okay. No way. We can Planar Cleanse. That's the thing we could do. Whoop! <laughs> I don't think we have to, though, right? We swing in with the seven. He blocks with the three. Yeah, I mean, that would be so dumb to Planar Cleansing. We have way better board state, and he can't... Like, we... We're, no, we... Only swing in with this still, because it's not lethal... And I don't want him to uh, top deck a tribute to hunger to kill this. If he decides to, nobody would have to block that. Yeah, so we have to swing him with this. Because, like, he has to double block this. Yeah, or he dies. So, not double block, but he couldn't kill this because seven would get through. We got her fucking getting there. Good gracious alive. Good gracious alive. Okay. We're not, I mean, this probably gets discarded, honestly. I'm not going to cast it. I have a way better board state. Um, he does have Sanguine Bond. Top deck the land. That's gonna do it. Holy fuego. That was fun, man. We were just sitting there looking at each other for a while. Thankfully, I top decked my bomb before he top decked his bomb. Although Sanguine Bond isn't the bomb you need in this situation. Like, you kind of already have to be ahead in board state. That's not, that's, uh, that's not really true. I, that's, I haven't built this deck yet. Black White, I built it, but I haven't played it a lot. But we're gonna keep bashing and winning. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Commentary kind of dropped off there at the end, but... That was a fun game. Uh, it was a long game. We kind of petered out there for a bit, but we'll try. We'll, tr we'll splash around a little bit. We'll see if we can get you another game. That was fun. Cool build. I haven't seen that build before. Uh, or some of those cards, so that was cool. And I got to play some cards I've never played, so. Shiberius, brother! What's... Never mind. Never mind, Shiberius. <laughs> you did not prove yourself worthy. Actually, just, I was over here drinking water and not even paying attention, and he was probably sitting there for about... A second or two. Agapov was it though? We got a POV action. Okay, I'm not I don't think I can decipher that. Uh just yet. Maybe we'll it'll be revealed in the comments. Whop! Over here in the chat room. Uh you know, this is a interesting thing.
but I'm not sure I can keep. It's got some Think Twice. You know, we could probably draw into something, something good. Our mana base is pretty solid. We only need the red source for <laughs> the one red, two red cards we're running. Maelstrom counts as a red card. I'm going to keep it. Uh, we're on the play. I guess I'll take that too. We do Simic Guildgate into... We don't have a second black source. So if we draw something like Cultivate, you it's really like double and triple heavy. That, that's why you should probably drop... <sighs> I'm going to shut up. Just, I mean, just for now. I'll probably go into the, the includes. Like... Um... Anyway, I'm going to shut up for now. But there's a, it's very mana dependent, like double and triple on a lot of things. Like most of the bombs have double in their cost. This has double in their cost. So like land drop five, you need double red. When's that going to happen? Like double red, I mean, land drop five is obviously a lot earlier on um, other decks than it is with this deck. But like how easy is that to do? Not very easy. I mean, it might be easy to do, but you're going to kind of fuck yourself over for the rest of the game. Because you have double red instead of like double black, right? So that's how, that's how I feel about it so far. Now, I think... I can't lay this land! Priority is amazing! You evil son of a bitch. Okay, what's cool is this guy knows what he's doing. Evil, lol. Um, and I can't lay a land. Like, he, he went off me hesitating on that land to suffer the past, I think, twice. But, I mean, for two minutes, cycle it out. It's not really that big of a deal. Um... Now the question is, we do this, and then we do this, but this doesn't jump us up to sh shit balls. Yes, it does. We dark stealing it now because we can swamp indulgent tormentor next turn because we do have double black. We had double black anyway. No, we didn't because we have a, we only have one. Okay, <laughs> the mana base is crucial with this deck. If you fuck up anything you're screwed this guy probably has removal for this we don't do tap land we go ahead and get this threat out because he can't counter it it happens there's an indulgent torm mentor and it could be ulcerated trip to hunger i forgot the black removal because the black removal is garbage the white removal on the other hand reprisal arrest banisher priest banisher priest the list goes on and on exile a bro for five mana uh, not bad, but we do run. I like how my mana ramp, my, my artifacts are not nombos for um, planar cleansing. Because we run planar cleansing, I can planar cleanse and I not I don't lose my mana ramp, right? So that's good. Uh, Genesis Hydra seems pretty dope, and we can do it, but I don't want to do that right now, I don't think. So I'm going to Azorius Guildgate, Core Cartographer. That gives us a blocker for this 2 2. He's not going to be swinging in with it anytime soon, I don't think, unless he ulcerates this, which I'm probably okay with. Yes! Go get our 14,000th plane. So, okay, I think he said, Saeed, what's up, my dude? If you're watching, I think you said that you ran a lot of white sources because you needed the white mana, it seemed like, but <clears throat> it's very easy to get that white mana. Now, it might be, <laughs> so far it is, but it might be because you run so many white sources. But I think you could probably cut down on those a little bit. Uh, this screams like the first strike. This screams, that's it. Like this, or pro-white. It'd probably be worth him... I'm going to run it out. Like, this is the, the one mana... Yeah, Swift Justice, one mana first strike lifelink. I mean, that's okay. He did it snap. I mean, this dude thinks he's clever. And he is so far. But I think that's worth it. Like, doing it on that instead of maybe like a Baneslayer Angel on my Runescar Demon, which is a 6-6. Six, six, doing it, making him, forcing him to do that right then. I probably don't think that's worth it. Now, we could... Genesis Hydra, double O missionary seems okay. Genesis Hydra would be for three, four, five, six. Six cards, six or less. What do we have at seven? We have Palaka Worm and... Hmm. I don't know. I kind of just want to run it out just one more again. Like, what are the six drop? The five drops are good. We could top deck... We could be, uh, you know, top decking. What? Hello? Oh, he took my bro. I was looking for this. It could be Indulgent Tormentor. It could be the Dragon. It could be Bane Slayer Angel. But at six, I don't think we have anything. Wow. I'm going to double loan Missionary. I mean, it walls them off. We gain the life. I'm going to do this when this is seven, I think. It's a big creature. And I love, I'm so happy I'm not playing against Control. <laughs> I can just do whatever I want. They might die once they hit the field, but motherfucker, I'm going to get them down, okay? I'm going to get them down. All right, we're going to pass turn back. We're looking for one more land or one more source. 
Um, yeah, probably cut the white a little bit. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it. We're having fun. Subscriber builds. And this is it's a fun deck, man, so far. It's not like it's just like running on training wheels or anything. That's a horrible analogy. Like running on training wheels would mean it was it just worked all the time. You didn't have to think at all what you do with this deck. What I meant is it's not like completely fucking up. And that's good <laughs> for the subscriber builds. I knew it on paper that it, it would be at least playable. And I, I mean that like that's like bottom. Like I knew it'd be playable and I, I thought it would be good. I think it's good. It just needs some tweaking. Needs a little bit of love. Pepper and some love. He takes both of that shit and we're going to Genesis Hydra for all the damn cooks. And what's good about this is card advantage. Kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm cool with that. There's Storm Breath. We don't even have two red swords. Do we even have one red source right now? <laughs> um, it's going to be Soul of Ravnica because even if it dies, we get some card advantage out of it. And now it's a 7-7 seven, seven, and a 6-6. Six, six. The dude was clever in response. Suffer from the past of my think twice. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I've never thought about it because, like, it usually wouldn't work anyway. <laughs> um, in that situation specifically, like, him just, like, snap doing it. And then the swift ju justice that he was really proud of. But I kind of knew I was walking right into. And I'm pretty sure this guy, I, I got a feeling this guy's going to murder me in the chat here pretty soon. Because he got quiet, and now he's like, damn, I'm really far behind. He's like, god damn it. He walked right into my Swift Justice, too. <laughs> or maybe, you know, you know, he's, he, uh, he knows me. Maybe he knows me. He just wants to play against me, have a good time, you know. It's not always negative. But uh, when you, <laughs> when you uh, suffer the past, my think twice. That's evil. Four damage to a bro. His own bro, because he's giving up? Me? I don't think so, because it's like a covenant. Okay. Okay. There's a wall of O. I'm going to bash. Hey, I can start drawing cards off this, right? Swing, swing every time I come around the city. I like how he tapped this for the mana. He wasn't swinging in, so I was smart. Okay, we do that. We're pretty far ahead here. Is there any point? Is We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually do both of these. Sure. I don't think the blue source is the best thing I want to tap right now, but I do have several blue sources over several different lands and indestructible artifacts. So uh, we pass turn back now, though, because we can't cast e this elixir and draw the card because this costs seven, I hope, for each color among permanents you control, which would be three. This is colorless. Blue, white, green. Beautiful. Grizzle fucking brand. <laughs> we need a top. We need a top deck. You know what's cool is we can still swing in with a 7-7. Seven, seven, and he's tapped out. So we need to top deck uh, Planar Cleansing or we're going to lose this game. Oh my god, that's such a good card. Give me some fuego. We, Planar Cleansing is the only thing I can um, draw into really. Uh-oh. Cultivate. Oh no. This just became a damn game, dude. I think we can bluff. We can't bluff. Anything. We have to uh, swing in with a 7-7. Seven, seven. He doesn't even have to block this. Just needs a little bit something. A little bit. I, I, don't, I can't complain about this, honestly. That that was an amazing... I don't know. He might have, may have had it and just now cut off a mana. I wasn't really paying attention to that. He does take it, which I think is both dangerous and smart at the same time. So we're going to do uh, this... We need seven. We can't. Have, we don't have fourteen, but we do need seven mana at the end of this. At the end of all this shit, we need seven mana, and it needs to be bl double blue. For fuck's sake, why are you tapping that? Why are you tapping that? Horrible. Fuck it. That's fine. Okay, let's go get red and white or something. Whatever we're allowed to. Let's go double red and a blue. Sure. Do we need uh we need white maybe for you know like some shenaniganry with planar cleansing and whatnot? We could go, you know, shuffle that back in our berry. Like elixir is just not worth it right now. What is worth it is dark steel. Can we three, four, five, six, seven? No, we can't. It's weird. I didn't mean to tap this if I did. Okay. I don't have anything in the air. Man, it's crazy. Like that's how powerful Grizzle Brand is. I'm like just on the up and up, like don't even care anymore. And all of a sudden, Grizzle Brand. And now I'm like on the fence, dude. It's so bad. Uh oh. There's, well, that's not really a big deal because he's, he's committing more than I think he has to. But no, really, not really because like he has to swing in with this. 
and he gets a 4-4 four four as a Radiant Fountain. Okay. Can he swing in? He can't swing in with uh, the Breeze. He can't. That's 11. Oh, yeah, because he has that, that, that flyer. That makes sense. Well, he couldn't if he didn't get that damn flyer. Okay, I have no combat tricks. I can't, like, draw into this because it taps out all my mana. I'm trying to think what's in my deck. That's a little bit what... That's what is a little bit hard um, with, like, the, the subscriber builds and whatnot is I don't know, like, what's in my deck. I kind of do, though. This one's a little bit easier because it's mostly bombs and shit. Planar Cleanse, Beauty and the Beast. So what can we do here? We're going to lay a something... How many manas do we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. Go ahead and make that 12. So we have 12 mana. 6 of it has to go to uh, that. So we can actually... Okay, if he blocks... Like, I can't swing him with both of these because he blocks with Banisher Priest. And I wouldn't get my 5-3 back. So I actually have to swing in with only this and he takes it and it doesn't matter 13 I don't have can I do this so it's five but he would still just block he would still just block that so I have to play her cleansing right now and I shouldn't have laid that thing because now I've uh you are rune expedition son of a bitch okay so we just swing all out we can't swing all out we swing in with only this and then we play her cleanse right because he cannot, I, he cannot give me this damn Indulgent Tormentor back. Because I get it back right now. <clears throat> he doesn't have any counters. There's no way he can counter this. This is going to happen. He took it, which is fucking amazing. Um, yeah, I couldn't do it pre-com either. I guess I could have Storm Breath pre-com. Would that have mattered? No, because it would have died. I don't want to do that. So we do this. We do have uh, the Storm Breath Dragon mana open. I get my 5-5 five, five back. I get my Storm Breath back. Good luck taking care of both of that because it's not lethal over both ways, but it kind of is. Now, I could top deck. Let's go ahead and run this out. Why not? I don't see a reason to keep it around. So, this came out really late. So, the monstrosity doesn't matter at all. Now, hopefully, this isn't Planar Cleansing. Planar Cleansing makes sense for him to have, though. Elixir, it's not it, it's not planar cleansing. So that's good. He does survive a turn though, so it gains a five, and I'm only swinging it for nine. He's doing it right now just in case I have some shenanigans to make him not do that. So he gets all that shit back in his hand. Now what was it? Grizzle brand, he could top deck that again. That would suck a dick. Target opponent. Agagapov. Hello? Oh, pays three life. Okay, so it take, takes him down a seven. He let me draw the card. That makes sense. <clears throat> and then we can just swing in. I can monstrosity this for the dub. Right? That's 7, 13 damage. So that is enough if he doesn't have removal here. Go for the blockers. Freeze. We do this. Okay. I'm sure that won't matter at all. And I think that's going to do it. That was a sweet game. I did monstrosity on Storm Breath Dragon. He's staying in the deck. He's the mascot for this deck. <laughs> Unwillingly. On both sides, right? Oh, man. That was uh, that was fun. That was interesting. Uh, we needed that planar cleansing, obviously. And he turned it around with the card so powerful, it breaks formats around the world. Grizzle Breezy. All right, guys. I think, personally, we have a very solid base. Like, not even a base. It's like... 75% there, this deck, as far as, like, optimizing it. Saeed, I think you've got a very cool thing going here, brother. It's something I've never, I, like, I would never think to build this deck, honestly. And it actually runs pretty well. The mana needs to be tweaked. There's, you know, sign off in the comments. Everybody, Saeed, subscribers, me, I'm going to get in the paint. We're going to do this. This is our baby. This is our project. We're starting it right now. This deserves another episode or two to figure it out. This has to be, like, you can't just pick apart this deck. Don't say, uh, just run White Weenie. Just make it a fucking White Weenie deck. Like, that's obviously not what I want to be doing with this. But it's got to be five color. It's got to stay. It can't, don't turn into a control build either. Keep it, um, you can run some more removal and whatnot. But keep it, the main focus as, uh, ramp. Don't have to be necessarily with that. But ramp and card draw. Like, that, I think it's a very cool idea. It gets around the whole ramp out, uh, drop your bomb. They kill it or counter it. You're fucked. 
Uh, so I like it. It's a cool build. Let's get in there. Get in the comments. I'll be I'll be active on this one, right? Just get in the comments. We'll figure it out. This is a maybe two or three episode kind of thing. I like it, dude. Thank you, Saeed. Love you, homies. Later.